Hello everyone, my name is Ji Chen from Peking University. It is a great pleasure to present our recent study at the Symposium on Correlated Electrons. The topic of my talk today will be focusing on electron correlations in titanium oxide systems. This is the outline of my talk. We always talk about that materials consists of transition metal elements are challenging systems for electronic calculations. Unfortunately, in chemistry and physics, there are many important applications that are related to transition metal containing materials. For example, transition metals are used a lot in catalysis, and they also determine the key physics for high temperature superconductivity, for example. Therefore, although they are challenging, we still want to try to understand them, and TI is one of the simpler ones among transition metal elements. So titanium oxide uh, is a perfect example to show how complex is the electronic correlation. It seems that TiO molecular and TiO2 materials are not very relevant. At least people in quite different communities talk about them. TiO is one of the most natural and important substances detected in the universe. To understand the involvement of planets, one needs to know the electronic structure and the photoabsorption spectra, for example. But on our planet, TiO2 is more common and it is often in material form. In science, one of the most important applications of TiO2 is photocatalysis which also requires the understanding of its electronic structure. However, when looking at the electronic structure, there is an interesting connection between TiO molecular and TiO2. In a stoichiometric TiO2, the 3D orbitals of Ti should be ideally unoccupied. However, TiO2 often appears in reduced forms due to inevitable defects. In a reduced form, there are excess electrons. The excess electrons tend to occupy the 3D orbitals of titanium. Having occupied the 3D orbitals connects the TiO molecular and the TiO2. So in this talk, I'm mainly concerned with TiO2 with defects or excess electrons. In addition to the behavior of electrons itself, from a methodological point of view, Understanding the behavior of different methods on this problem with excess electrons on TiO3D orbitals is something interesting. In our computational community, these are some of the widely used electronic structure methods, including density functional theory, wave function theories, and quantum Monte Carlo. In this study, I will show some comparison of results using different methods. Among those methods, one of, the, uh, one of them uh, was mentioning is FUSI IQMC, uh, originally developed in Alavi's group. In this method, a stochastic sampling method is used to tackle the FUSI problem. This method provides new benchmarks for molecules and small bulk materials. Uh, in our first study, we have used FUSI IQMC to accurately calculate the electronic structure of TiO. Uh, TiO contains 18 electrons and uh, 92 orbitals using a CCPVTZ uh, basis set. This system is solvable using FUSI IQMC. On the right, we can see that most of the important frontier orbitals, including uh, various 3D orbitals and uh, combined with two orbitals of oxygen, uh, we have considered the five low-lying states whose configurations are shown in the table and on the right bottom. When running to the IQMC simulation, the most obvious result is the population of various determinants. Uh, from that, we can understand how multi-configuration uh, is each state. Here we show in the main, um, the first, uh, in the main, that first uh, 15 most populated determinants. We immediately notice that one sigma plus uh, state is the most multi-configurational and there will be a very uh, strong dynamic correlation effects. Um, after converging the FUSI IQMC energy as listed in the table, we can further use it as a benchmark to look at the performance of other methods. 
as expected. Uh, the strong dynamic correlations are well captured by CCSD bracket T, uh, whereas uh, DFT and Hartree-Fork, uh, these mean field methods are quite uh, bad. Uh, in this plot, we can make the point uh, clearer uh, that although DFT with hybrid functional seems to capture the ground state, um, such as dissociation, uh, very well, uh, its performance on the excitation energy is uh, is not uh, as good as uh, its performance on the ground state. These understandings built uh, um, built on the study of TIO molecular is quite uh, important, especially it shows TFT may be less accurate in computing the excitation energies of titanium oxide systems, because many previous studies have adopted DFT to study related properties in titanium oxide materials, such as the band gap, defect states, uh, ex excitations, etc. Uh, therefore, going beyond DFT may be necessary from our point of view, and uh, CCSD bracket T may be a good option to go beyond DFT. Uh, now let's move to the TiO2 uh, materials with defects and excess electrons. Obviously, we are not going to carry out uh, Fusi QMC as a stage for uh, such a large system. So we developed a point charge embedding method, which has been used in conjunction with other wave function theories. Uh, here, the environment is described by point charges to reproduce electrostatic potential at the vacancy center. The first two shells of atoms around the vacancy is explicitly uh, described and all electrons are included. The third share is uh, described with effective co-potentials, and we have done embedding for both the rutile and uh, anatase phases. Uh, here we should first show the frontier orbitals obtained using Hartree fork after embedding. The above is rutile and the below is uh, anatase. Let's, um, uh, let's take the rutile for example for a moment and uh, by controlling the spin, we can directly compute the singlet and the triplet state with ground, uh, uh, you know, with ground state uh, for CIQMC. Uh, the right panel shows the populations of determinants obtained from FUSIQMC. Interestingly, we find a very similar behaviors of uh, TIO molecules. Uh, especially, there is a uh, significant uh, multi-configuration features for both states, also indicating the reliability of uh, CCSD bracket T potentially. To obtain the results with a small error bar is still challenging for this system, so we computed the energies using CCSD bracket T and other methods uh, as a comparison. We find that singlet is consistently is a ground state uh, however, DFT seems to uh, heavily underestimate the single triplet gap, uh, even with hybrid functional, which has been um, uh, which has been widely used uh, for for such properties. The severe underestimation could lead to different uh, conclusions regarding the states of excess electrons in TiO2. Um, when we use uh, LDA or GGA functional, these semi-local functionals, uh, the singlet cannot even be stabilized uh, in our calculation, so uh, we expect that the problem is more severe. Um, in this study, we think it is necessary to uh, promote correlated wave function calculations for titanium oxide systems to revisit other properties such as uh, polarons defects, uh, formation energies, uh, excitation uh, spectra, etc. Um, finally, I would like to show one of our uh, attempts to understand the water polaron interaction at the TiO2 water interface. Here we have used the uh, um, DFT-based methods so far because polarons are uh, induced by electron phonon interactions so supercells are required and wave function calculations are still beyond reach. Uh, just mentioning one property as an example, the dissociation of water on the surface with polarons. 
the left panel uh, shows the dissociated and the undissociated molecular uh, the configurations and uh, we can compare the energy difference of those two configurations. Uh, on the right, we show the calculate energy difference uh, using different methods and different models uh, with hybrid and DFT plus U, uh, we find that polarons uh, inhibit the dissociation of water, which is uh, quite clear as shown by the big increase of the dissociation energy uh, comparing to what happened on a pristine uh, substrate. However, uh, with GGA methods, uh, the results do not show the effect Although uh, generally we think uh, hybrid and DFT plus U results may be more reliable in treating in polaron uh, in such cases. The example highlights the importance of describing the electronic structure accurately. And to be honest, uh, whether hybrid and DFT plus U can give uh, accurate results are not guaranteed. Uh, so uh, we think it should also be investigated in the future. Um, uh, for summary, we have shown that transition metal materials such as TIO uh, systems have strong multi-configurational features at electronic structure level, uh, requiring accurate electronic structure methods. Even materials such as TIO2, which is normally a D0 material, can show strong multi-configuration behaviors uh, when in its reduced form. CCSD bracket T seems to be performing rather well for uh, such systems uh, and DFT results uh, should be uh, treated uh, with care. Uh, overall, um, developing efficient and uh, accurate electronic structure methods are still uh, very important and uh, many properties would, uh, would need uh, such uh, efficient and accurate uh, methods. Um, and finally, I would like to thank uh, um, to my students, uh, Tong Huan Jiang and uh, Yiling Chen, who have been involved uh, in uh, the FUSI QMC uh, calculations, and uh, also uh, other collaborators, especially Professor Ali Alavi and uh, Professor Angelus Michael Lydis, who have been uh, supervising uh, most of those uh, projects. And uh, also, fundings and uh, resources have uh, been uh, supporting our. our uh, studies and uh, I thank you for listening.